Good boy. Which I, I'm a realist. I'm not trying to say that, oh, you can make, uh, you know, 800 bucks in two hours. Because no, that is hard to do. Yet. What's up you guys, Andre here with Jack of All Trades. It was a very, very long day yesterday and today should be a pretty long one too, but I am not complaining. This is awesome, I love grinding like crazy. I'm gonna start off this morning with unloading some granite, some paint that I'm not planning on dumping at the landfill. And then I gotta go to the landfill, dump all the trash out of the trailer, go to the job site I was at yesterday, pick up my mini skid steer and plywood, come back home, unload the mini skid, load up more plywood, load up the stump grinder, and then we're gonna go do a job site with hammer. This is what I got unloaded. It doesn't look like much, but trust me, this is some weight. These granite countertops are no joke. They are thick, they are heavy. I mean, they're broken up right now. It took two people to lift them up because that's how thick they are. I'm gonna be recycling the copper and brass out of them. And then I'm gonna be basically giving this granite to my father-in-law because he asked me for some rocks because he's planning on doing some concrete. And I told him I do get countertops from jobs here and there. He's like, perfect, I need those. So I'm not paying the dump fee on them. I'm gonna get rid of them for free. So it's gonna save me some money on the dumpy, but even if you wouldn't want this, I would take it to a recycling center and just pay by the load, not by weight, because this weight adds up quick. I even have some over there, some on the other side, and then a little bit of scrap metal. Yeah, it looks like a mess right now, but this is what I gotta do because I'm in a rush. Also, there is copper in here, but I mean, I can't look through every bag. I don't have the time for it, but uh, I grabbed one bag and this popped out. <laughs> they did some bathroom demo, I don't know, but copper, pretty decent amount. I'm headed to the landfill right now. I'm about 25 minutes away, but I wanted to be clear on something I said in the last video. When I said I made 800 bucks in two hours, I did not include the drive time to the job site, the drive time back home, the drive time to the landfill now to dump this load. So I'm just gonna make a little explanation for those of you guys that don't understand because I'm not making 400 bucks an hour. If you count my drive time, I had four and a half hours in this job yesterday, plus right now today I have one hour in it. So total for this 800 bucks I have about five hours and a half total with working and drive time dumping so after you do all the math it doesn't sound as great right because if you just think that oh he made 800 bucks in two hours 400 bucks an hour that's really good that's crazy right but no that doesn't happen guys if you count all the drive time which I, I'm a realist I'm not trying to say that oh you can make uh, you know 800 bucks in two hours because no that is hard to do yes it's possible yes you will have a job one day that will pay that much but those jobs are very rare. This is more realistic, having five hours or something in a job making 800 bucks. That's a better example, I should say. I just got to the landfill, I'm about to get on the scales, get weight, I'm gonna set up the GoPro on top of the dump trailer, that way you guys can see it slide out pretty nicely, hopefully. But I wanted to touch on this real quick. Another reason why I didn't feel like it was fair to share my numbers for yesterday is because I really worked two days in one day. I mean, actually, even with a little bit of overtime, because I put in 17 hours, if you do eight hour days, that's 16 hours for two days. So I had two days and a little bit of overtime basically. And I'm still working today for my jobs for yesterday because I never got to dump this. I never got to pick up my machine. So it just wouldn't make sense. Some people would just take that math and be like, oh my gosh, you made this much money in one day. But in reality, like I put in a lot of hours to make that money. It's not just easy. Like I made that in, you know, four hours or something. No, I, I grinded my butt off and I'm still grinding to make that money really. I, yeah, I got paid for it, but I'm still working. And all my customers were extremely happy with my prices because I was more than fair. Only people that wanted to lowball me a little bit more was the Amigos because I get it. They're trying to make as much money as they can as well. But I told them like, yo, I can't do it for this price. It's got to make sense for me. I'm bringing a machine. I'm hauling a heavy load away. So we, we agreed on something fair in the end, but it was good. You know, I don't mind helping them for a little bit less because they give me more work.
that was a little bit heavier than I expected. After I took out those granite countertops, I was expecting the weight to be around a thousand pounds because I mean it didn't feel heavy at all, but it was still 1600 pounds. So I ended up paying 55 bucks at the landfill, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, I mean, it is what it is. It's a dump trailer worth of junk almost, so it is expensive. But this kid that pulled up to the landfill with his boss's truck and dump trailer got me laughing. When he pulled in, I waved at him like to say what's up and uh, he looks at me like he owns this place. I'm like, all right. I dumped my load and I looked back at him. This guy's dump trailer is not even halfway up and he's like confused. He's raising it, he's lowering it a little bit, trying to raise it and it's not going up. His battery was probably dead or something or he didn't know how to operate a dump trailer because he barely knew how to back up a truck. So I was like, hey, if you wanna be like that, I'm not even gonna help you out. I just hopped in my truck, took off. He can unload a load of shingles by hand. It was a seven by 14, two foot walls, big text dump trailer. I mean, those things are pretty solid trailers. I don't know why it didn't lift because it didn't look that heavy, but uh, I'm sure his battery was dead or something or user error. got everything loaded up I'm headed to the job site right now hammer texted me to uh, make sure I bring my plywood because he forgot his again so yesterday he texted me saying that hey I got about 10 sheets of plywood how many do you have I told him about the same he's like can you bring them all because we're gonna need them and I said yeah I can and this morning he made it to the job site and he realized he forgot the plywood he lives about 45 minutes away I told him like go to Home Depot buy some more if you need it but he said nah it's okay we can make it work we'll just end up uh, moving them around if need be so I haven't seen this property, but he didn't want to drive the excavator on it because I think they might be picky about the grass. I'm not sure, but I understand we all make mistakes. I mean, when I was headed this morning to pick up the mini skidster, I put in the wrong address. I drove 30 minutes out of the way. Are you serious, bro? Look how respectful people are of us guys with trailers. Earlier, a Mercedes cut me off and she had an AMG and uh, she moved over to this lane. I'm like, lady, just floor it before I even get to you you'll be a mile away but some people have fast cars but don't know how to drive them or they're scared to drive them why buy them then what's going on brother oh it's this house right here where do you want me to park um maybe for now just get turned around and park in front of this house until we can get the excavator down there and then put your uh truck where are we carrying the plywood from this side or the other side from right over here from this side okay yeah. so then i'll just get are you getting the excavator over the curb or are you going from yeah, the drive over the curb yeah it's not yeah. gonna crack it big machine bro how much does it weigh Ten thousand or more yeah, 10K. i love roundabouts hammer was already working this morning he already climbed a few trees by the time i got here and trimmed some stuff off he just said he needs the machine for the other ones because he doesn't want to mess through brush for no reason if he has the brush hog he has to brush hog it either way yeah i had to get some new work pants but i, I only really wear them for tree work yeah because it goes over my boots yeah 
I, they're too loose for me, bro. I don't like that. No, well, that's good. I guess. Let's see, that's how mine are. Yeah. You want that because, like, if you're climbing a tree or something, it's just more room. Yeah. I'm a skinny guy, though. I don't like it too loose. <laughs> it looks good. So, it's going to take, there's like five branches I need to take off here so it's it comes off. So okay. what I was thinking, either you or me lift us up on the excavator so I don't have to spike it. Um, and just Did you cut, cut these? Cut yeah. Bro, why didn't you just tell me to bring my pole saw? I don't want you to bring all your stuff. Dude, it's a pole saw. I got to put it to work, my boy. And I wasn't going to charge you extra to bring my pole saw. And then from this retaining wall, going 20 feet back, 15, 20 feet, clearing all the way down. Just brush, just mowing this stuff down. It all Dude, I can't believe you didn't tell me to bring my pole saw. Are you trying to waste time on purpose now? Yeah. With the handsaw? <laughs> Dude, I freaking, I started going to the gym again uh -huh. and I was running and I think I pulled or tore something, my meniscus or my patella because it's freaking hurting. Went too hard. You, you gotta take it easy, bro. You're a big fella. I know. Can't go too hard. Uh -oh. You go one day too hard, you gotta take a week off, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's what it seems like. So they're your family because you did gymnastics? I can't believe you did gymnastics. Big guy like you doing gymnastics that <laughs> makes me laugh, you know, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I would think you'd do like, you know, some boxing or something. I wish. <sighs> This plywood is absolutely junk, so if it tears up and we got to throw it away, that's fine. Yeah. Heavy duty stuff. You know how I got these pieces? This heavy duty ones? From a job? Yeah, the guys showed up with a full size skid steer, brought their plywood, abandoned the job, left the plywood, never came back. Customers like, I need a gun, can you take it please? I was like, I'll do it to help you out. Typically I charge for it, but I guess I could use this so I won't charge you. It's some heavy plywood. You've had that yeah, since that, I've known you. Almost. Yeah, that, that one lasts forever. It's some expensive plywood. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Something. This one's light. You can take this one on your own. Yeah. Or no. No. No, I don't want you. You said you're hurting. I don't have that many pieces. No, it's okay. Well, what we're gonna have to do is just come up here and move them as it gets run down. Okay, there. we'll just move the light pieces then. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea that opened. Yeah, you gotta use the shield when you yeah. when it's shooting at you. That's all on a video of yours like, last night or the night before, and I was like, bro, come on. Yeah, no, nah, the, the chips, it, it swings them pretty hard. Yeah. You definitely gotta be careful with them. That's why I like these pants, because they always used to fly in my shoes, and it's such a pain, it pokes you. But with these pens, they won't do that. So that's what, that's really the main reason I bought them. This thing is huge. 304. Like that's some sketchy stuff to me. How it tips, but if you know what you're doing, it ain't sketchy, I guess. Aluminum ramps, they handle it really well. I'm surprised. Pretty good, wow. He used the arm to his advantage. This guy knows what he's doing. Put almost no weight on that curb. These are a lie. I could just move these two. One, two, 
three, four, five, okay. six, seven, eight. Eight, eight total branches. You see the, the first eight going up the tree. Okay. After that little branch that has the three that fork off, no more. I just want to get everything out of the way of that, and this will get away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. This chainsaw has been acting up. What happened with it? It keeps shutting off. It's really annoying. It's your old one? It's your old one? Might just need to do a service, a spark plug on it. Hammer's pretty crazy. Look what he got me doing. Oh no! Did you run out of gas? It just shut off on its own, huh? <laughs> Lift me up! That's good! Come on. It's so annoying. Yeah, we're gonna need to buy a new one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Shut off again. Wow. That's not good, bro. It's really annoying. It's like it's running out of gas or something. Do you got fuel in here? Yeah, it should at least have at least half a tank. Let me see. Yeah, you got some. Let me finish cutting it real quick. Annoying. We're about to start using the 500 I like you last yeah. time climbing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you the pulse off for free so you can have it at this point. Okay, come on now. Okay. I guess we just gotta go wong, 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 wong. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was heavy. This is your free bucket truck, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, not really free, but... Well, well, yeah, I mean, you get a, you buy an excavator and then you get a bucket truck, would it? 
Yep. You just gotta buy a brush hog. That looks a lot better. Hey. Hey. He brought the super glue. <laughs> Put him back. Yeah. We'll nail him. Super glue might not hold him. On this one. Looks like whoever graded this lot just literally pushed dirt from up the hill here because a bunch of these trees are buried, but they're still alive. Okay. What's leaking, AC? Yeah, that's the AC. Okay. Well, this thing's dripping. Oh. No, yeah. It is. Dripping pretty hard. This boy's staying cool in there.
Yeah, so now these guys got to go. All these small ones up here. Yeah. This sucks. Like they're all leaning towards the house. Ah, that's not an issue. We no. can push them. Push them? Yeah. I'm going to grab the climb stall. I mean, you think we can push them by hand? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Chainsaw. I was thinking about it, but I'm like, nah, I can't do it. Where's the 261? Yeah, it, the chain's worse on it than the 500. Oh, come on. Who, yeah. who, who, who did that? What do you think? What are you guys cutting? You guys are cutting my trailer up with yeah, a chainsaw, keeps, aren't you guys? The trailer keeps getting smacked. You gotta use a plasma cutter if you want to cut metal. <laughs> right there yeah and just some of the small stuff a lot of stuff we can just take the truck back there this is what we're looking like right now i should have got it before but it was really hard to walk through here i mean you could probably see on camera but i mean it was just vines and briars everywhere it is it was wild out here we got a lot of stuff down but there's still a lot of cleanup to do hammer's gonna go over it one more time it's definitely a mess right now but we'll get it cleaned up the big boys are staying. Hammer's just gonna climb and raise the canopy like he did on this one on the next one. Make it look good, but it's, uh, it's brutal working on a hill like this. You can't really tell. Camera never does anything justice, but it's steep out here. I mean, Hammer's always telling me you ain't tipping. He was telling me he was afraid of tipping right there, which I was surprised hearing from him.
we're pulling the excavator out because we're all done mulching back there i'll show you guys all the results in the end we're gonna start grinding that stump after i remove all this plywood off the sod this is fresh sod right here so we can't afford to mess it up we got this pile of brush we got to remove right here hammer cut this down before i even got here and then we got to grind the stump not bad at all should have brought my shield we're gonna set some plywood because i ain't trying to hit any of those cars here's an up close look nothing crazy probably well it goes wide that way so there's a lot of roots but it ain't looking too crazy up top show you guys the back right now this tree right here is what we started with this is the retaining wall we went about 20 feet back straight up mulched everything if it was small trees we cut them up we only left the huge ones all the stumps are just pretty much cut to the ground if it's a small brush it's completely mulched because hammer went extremely low it's killing that brush hog killing these stumps but it works it does a good job looks real clean customer is very happy in a couple weeks, all this stuff's going to be gone. Well, maybe not because all the leaves are going to start falling. But this stuff's going to decompose in no time. It's already drying up because of the heat. It's so hot today. Interesting. It was so cold the other days. I don't know why people build homes and they use these retaining walls. Because they, they rot. I mean, look at that. That is some giant holes over there for the neighbor. And this is what it looks like from this side. Hammer climbed those two, cleaned them up. That blue diamond brush hog is a monster. This is some good work right here. That plywood was a pain. It killed me and Hammer loading it up. I'm just gonna dump the dump trailer when I get home and then I'll move the plywood with the machine. It's brutal. What'd you think, Hammer? What's up? What'd you think? Not too bad. Not too bad? Pretty good job. That excavator is beast, huh? Oh yeah. Crazy, man. It is. Nice. We got this whole side cleaned up as well. Plywood did great. Nothing hit the car, nothing hit the window. That stump got grinded in literally a couple minutes. I don't even know if I'm gonna fast forward it because it was that fast. Like zig, 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 done. Yeah. Working is easy. Loading everything up is hard. Clean up is hard. Before the job and the end of the job is what sucks. Yeah. That's what sucks. I mean, we were chilling. You were chilling working with AC. That wasn't even work. You know what I mean? Yeah. The 
weather is killing my stuff, but I mean, I guess this blower is like two years old, but it still works. I guess I just gotta take it out of the rain because the rain is killing this motor. It's like. I definitely should. I always, after every job, I completely unload my truck. Actually, stop I lying. I went no, to your house. No. But except for that black box now, because it has a waterproof strip in it. Oh, yeah. And that's where all my climbing gear is, so that stays in there. But I pulled the chainsaws out I'm, and all the ropes. I know, it's just like... He said stop lying. It's so annoying. You, like, you get home, you're tired, you got to unload other stuff, equipment, and then you got to unload the blower too. It's like you'd be like, ah, I'll leave it because I'll need it tomorrow. And then you don't need it tomorrow, rain comes, boom. Yeah, you see, that's why it was nice having that camper shell. But yep. You did need the money? Yeah, I need the money, so you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? Yeah, now I feel that. All right, brother, what time is your estimate? Uh, I just gotta text him and tell him I'm about to head that way. What time is it? 16? Four o'clock. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> dude. You know, like 24 hour time? Good seeing you, my boy. Yeah. Good working with you. Take care, Absolutely. be safe. I'm gonna go chat with them for a minute. Then. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, I still need to fuck the track down. Yeah, strap that thing down. I'm headed home right now about 12 minutes away. This job was 25 minutes away, which is not bad at all. But my diesel light is about to go on again. I got a range of 52 miles. I fueled up the truck last night at about 5.30. It's 4.30 today, so less than 24 hours again, I need diesel. This is ridiculous, man. It is so expensive to run these trucks. I have never dumped over here, but uh, I feel like it's a pretty good idea. Maybe I should have backed up all the way here, but really this isn't my property over here. This is my neighbor's. I mean, we're chill. So whatever, some stuff is here. I'll just move it later, but my property line ends right there. Next time I get another load of chips, I'm probably just gonna dump it on all this grass here. That way it stops growing as fast because it's nice to be able to drive back here. It really is. I took this load of brush for Hammer for free just to help him out a little bit so he can make more money on this job. I mean, it's a good job for him in general, but I want him to make more money. I think I'm a bit tired guys, so I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. But if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Well, man, I can't catch a break for the life of me. Another dead chicken. What on earth is going on? Lord, I don't understand. I just came to get the eggs after work. I got the skister key. I'm picking this thing up with a skister. I'm about to move the coop, come over here, grab it, and toss it back over there again. Hopefully something eats it again. What is going on, girls? Tell me. What is wrong? What happened again? You guys are scared? It's not your fault? Okay, all right. Man, this sucks. Three eggs, bunch of poop. When did she die, yesterday or today? I don't know. I didn't get the eggs yesterday. Didn't have time. Seriously though, what is going on? Like, I'm confused. Two chickens dead in like one or two months. Absolutely insane. Zeus, get out of there. Zeus, come by. You can't be over there, bro. The chicken died over there. This is my life, and I love it. Life is easy, guys. Come by. Come help me. Come on. Let's put the chickens away. Good boy.